What is up guys, my name is Matt or MC Sports Talk and today I have a solo strategy on Moon for you guys. So sit back, relax, and learn how to rape. That sounded a little bit creepy. Anyway, um, what you're going to do is obviously you're going to spawn in Area 51 and the most important part about this strategy is you need to get Jug before you go into the game. So if you see uh, Speed Cola or Sleight of Hand spawn instead of the Juggernaut Machine in the beginning, I highly suggest you restart the game or die and let it restart itself until you get Jug. Once you see that you get judged, like I have here, you want to make sure you start a rape train up in this in this beginning part. But you want to kill as many zombies as you can that come out of the swamp before the nuke siren goes off, because you need to get those points in the beginning. Also, you want to kill as many zombies as you can early on, because as the nuke uh, siren goes off, that represents levels going up, and it gets impossible to kill them with just a pistol and a knife. So I suggest you throw both of your grenades early on and try to get as many zombies in that uh, grenade thing as you can. I did a very good job of that here, and as you can see, I already have 2,500 points. Now I just got to get back to the Juggernaug machine. I'm going to buy that, and I'm going to start the game off with Juggernaug, which is a very, very important thing for this strategy. In this map, when you're floating around because of no gravity, it is very easy to get double hit, even when you're rape training. Even though the rape chain areas are pretty easy in this map, very easy in this map because there's such wide open areas, it's very easy to get double hit because of you, the no gravity, you end up floating and you can't control where you want to go. So once you get in here, you're going to have Juggernaug, obviously, that's extremely important. I highly suggest you do that before you start. That's the most crucial part about this strategy. And then obviously you're going to want to buy Quick Revive as soon as you can. you got to probably get a couple kills after buying Jug. Um, and you're going to want to stay away from that guy, and I'll tell you, that, I'll tell you about that guy in a minute. Um, there's actually a little trick you can do to get away from him because he will steal your perks. He'll steal your first perk that you have or the latest perk that you bought. Um, reword that. So you're going to buy Quick Revive, like I said. That's key just in case you absolutely have to die for some reason or you die on mistake. You'll be able to come back and maybe live a little bit longer. But I'm telling you guys right now, without Juggernaug, it's extremely difficult to survive in this map. So. Um, as you can see here, I'm waiting. For, I'm trying to kill this guy, but I do actually get caught by Astronaut Greer. I don't even know if that's one of my friends. I've never even heard of that before on my friends list. So he grabs me here. What you want to do is you want to turn the opposite direction that he's grabbing you and run as fast as you can. And just click down run, the run button. And you will get away from him. You will get away from him, as you saw right there. So a lot of people don't know that, but that's definitely a useful tip that I figured out. Run away as fast as you can, and you will get away. And you'll save your perk and he won't transport you back to, to spawn. Next part I'd like to stay is in Sector 6 right here. This is just me going up to where I'm going to eventually rape train. Um, I like to stay in Sector 6 until I get enough points to buy the door. Um, it's a very easy area to hold down. And then I like to stay right here against this door right against the power room. I just turn on the power. Um, buying the stakeout's easy to sit here and just keep killing them because there's nobody that can come behind you. When you're ready, you can open the door. It's only 750 points. So stay there for a while, and then ultimately you're going to want to get up here. As you can see, I lost my perks because I got trapped by a Nova 6. Those things are a pain in the butt. You want to get outside of the lab as soon as possible because they spawn in the lab and they transport. Sometimes they teleport on top of you and then you get stuck. So make sure you get out here as soon as you can. This is the area that I like the most. You can also go to the biodome. It's a lot, a lot of space in there too. But I like this spot better because one, the teleporter is right there. Just in case you lose jug, you can go back. And two, you have an AK-74U right on the wall as where in the biodome you don't have any guns on the wall. So you're just going to rape train around here, and that's basically the strategy, guys. You get as far as you can from here. The only key part is to get Juggernaut in the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like the video if you guys found it useful. It helps me out so much, and it doesn't take you a lot of time. I love when you guys do that. And if you want to favorite it to come back and watch it again, that's also perfectly acceptable. I'll catch you all next time, guys. Peace.